What Indiana needed Tuesday night was some size down low. Without Christian Watford's 6'8 frame to post up against the 6'10 power forward Jawan Johnson, it was an all-out defensive battle in the post to limit his shot. Despite losing 67-53, the Hoosiers showed they had the ability to play strong defense, sometimes posting up four players, limiting Johnson to eight points and forcing two turnovers in the first half. I mean, we don't have we don't have a matchup for, for Jawan Johnson. Not many do, but we don't, so we had to mix it, and that's exactly what we did. I think our guys, for the most part, battled. We were late a couple of times on our double teams. Uh, he made some plays uh, that, that, that really good players like that make, and we mixed guys on, on Etwan Moore. You know, I'm asking a lot of Jeremiah Rivers night in and night out. He's doing it, and, and uh, they made some plays in transition, some plays where we gave him the middle. You know, we didn't play mistake-free basketball, and, and when you're playing guys like that, you know, who are so dominant on their team, you, you've got to be as relatively as mistake-free as you possibly can. We were prepared for that. You know, he's a, you know, they got him, what, preseason All-America or whatever, so, you know, he had tough shots. And, I mean, he's 6'10", it was a seven-foot wingspan, you know, but, I mean, we, I thought we battled very well. Defensively in the beginning, uh, they were missing some shots and we were able to run, and we had a few mistakes of our own, so we kind of just gave it back. But, um, I mean, for in the beginning, we, I thought we played pretty well. Johnson's role as the co-leading scorer of the Boilermakers, along with Etwan Moore, puts himself in a position to limit pressure off of his teammates by opening himself up for the easy shot. IU tried several defensive schemes to limit Johnson from outside and down low, but were simply outmatched by his ability to shoot from many places on the floor. We tried to, uh, you know, play different defenses on Johnson, and uh, at some points of the game, I did have to guard him. Uh, you know, he's he's a good player, he's tough to guard, but uh, you know, there's some things that we could have done better to limit his catches and and definitely his scoring. We had some different defenses to, you know, try and try and do whatever, but he was able to hit some tough shots, and other players stepped up for them as well, hit some three pointers, uh, some daggers, but. Um, again, the stuff that we can control and the stuff that we're going to work on. We wanted to switch defenses more, but, but this is why Purdue is good. They don't put guys out on the court that can't make plays. As soon as they figured out that we were not guarding some people as hard as others, they got those guys out of the game. In just two weeks, Indiana has a chance to get a healthy Christian Watford back into the game to help match up with Johnson, taking the pressure off players like Will Sheehy, whose heroic efforts against the Boiler limited him early. Both Johnson and Moore graduate after the season ends, and while Tom Crean is anxious to see how IU sizes up with Purdue when those two are not a factor, the Hoosiers still have to continue working to force defenses that make Johnson shoot from the three, a shot he could not nail against the Hoosiers. At Mackey Arena, I'm Courtney Cronin, IU Sportcom.